Hey there, uh, my name is Eric, and um, I, I'm actually remaking this video because uh, it was, uh, well first off, this is about how to build a road, or like a dirt road, and uh, with a tractor, uh, with a backhoe. Um, I made this video before, but it was really windy, so um, I realized that, like I'm just as bad, right? Like somebody on the internet does something to try to help somebody else, but it's windy. And then you're like, this is crap, <laughs> right? Like, screw this guy. So I'm trying to remake it when it's a little less windy. Uh, but if you're still not happy with the free content that I produce for you, sorry. Um, all right, so yeah, here's what's up. So I have a, uh, yeah, there's that wind. I knew it. I knew it. Probably super loud for you guys right now. Um, so let me show you what the ground looks like. So it's ground like that, right? It's pretty here. I'll, Kind of aim it out. It's horrible, right? I mean, you can see it. It's just like sagebrush, rocks. It's just terrible. It's absolutely terrible. You'd have to be a super idiot to uh, have some land out here and try to do anything with it. Um, but let me show you what my uh, my road looks like now. So I kind of go back. So you've seen like what the unadulterated terrain looks like. But here's what it looks like now that I'm done. We're not done, but you know, you could get a you could get a Honda Civic through this. You know, you could get a, you definitely could get a four wheel drive uh, vehicle uh, through that, right? So, how do you go kind of from that to that? Uh, so, I'm not a construction guy um, uh, at all. And what you really should do if you're smart and have a lot of money is you should have somebody else do this for you with, that has the experience and the tools um, and what they're probably going to bring out is a uh, excavator they're probably going to bring out an excavator like a mini x or a bigger one um, and then they'll probably bring out a skid steer and especially if you have both of those running at the same time you could do a lot of stuff you can move really fast um, but as an example there's a guy that quoted me five grand to do this uh, with his bulldozer which is um, probably pretty cheap to be honest and um or maybe not cheap but it's probably about fair i wouldn't do this for less than five thousand um maybe if i had better equipment but still you know uh so i decided to do it with my little um my little kubota so i have a backhoe right there and then i have my kubota and then i have a loader so sorry for the wind again but here's what you do here's what i do and then you can do whatever you like is uh, the first thing you do is you go through and you can see the ground that's like torn up. It's kind of like ripped up like this. So this is from the backhoe. So you go through with the backhoe and you basically like rake, right? You rake out the stuff and then anything is big. Like those are pretty big rocks right there. It might be kind of hard. There you go. Kind of hard to see them to scale. But there's a glove, right? Let me see. Yeah, there you go. There's a glove to scale. So they're pretty big. They're maybe, I don't know, 80 pounds, something like that. Maybe hundred pounds. So they're heavy. Um, and then once you have this like pile of like disturbed soil like this, you go through, I go through by hand, by hand. So there's all the, everybody laughing, ha ha ha. I go through by hand and I load up the front loader. And here's why I do that is because you can just use the backhoe and you can like, um, you can use the backhoe and uh, dig. So you can just dig all that stuff up um and then just drop it off to the side but what you end up with is this like fortress of dirt and rock along the side um and it it's cool like if you need to do that like i did that in a section earlier and like it worked but then i want to widen it up a little bit and then to widen it up you have to go into these massive rock piles so this one's kind of natural i'll show you as an example but like you can see that like on the side of the stuff there like that's a huge pile, hold on, sorry, I'm like backwards. That's a huge pile of rocks, right? Along the side of the road there. So if you wanted to widen up um, this section right here, you would have to, you'd have to move all those freaking monsters, you know, like way the hell out, right? It's just rough, right? Um, like, let's say you're trying to get something big through here, like a trailer, and uh, it's like a tight fit. And you're like, oh, if only I could, if only I had another foot of clearance on that one section. Um, well, if you need another foot of clearance over there, it's a big deal versus if I need another foot of clearance like over here as an example um, I'll Probably already have it. I mean, I'll probably just 
you know, kind of nick the bush a little bit. So by getting all the rocks and putting them uh, into the loader by hand, um, it allows you to run the loader. Uh, first off, it allows you to get some exercise, which is good. You always need more exercise. Um, you're not getting bi big stuff. You know, those big guys right there that I pointed out, or some of the really big ones over there, like, let's see if I can get it. That one right there, that one. That one that I pointed to is probably like, I don't know, 700 pounds, 600 pounds. The heavy, heavy, quarter ton. Um, if you get the big ones out, right? And then anything that would like hurt your back, you know, you don't want to get hurt out here. So anything that would like hurt your back, you want to do those with the backhoe. And those are kind of go on the side. And then you can use the backhoe arm to like kind of push them away from you, right? Did that with some of the other ones that I'm kind of looking at here that you can't see. So what you're left with is you're left with it. You really want to pull out anything that's like, start with ones that are bigger than footballs, like bigger than a football. Anything bigger than a football, you can lift up anything bigger than a football. You, should, you know, if your your shoulders work, you should be able to do that. And then just put them in the loader. And then that way you can run the loader way the hell out to wherever you want to dump a whole bunch of rocks and they're not necessarily on the side of your road. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, and then if you're fortunate, what you get into, again, sorry for the wind, if you, dislike mine you know, somebody else is going to comment and be like it's shaky you suck <laughs> your video is garbage <laughs> if video could be filmed if garbage could be filmed it would look like this so there's other places here where you can see like i don't know if you can see the flags so kind of so hopefully you can see the flags there but it's it's actually not that bad i mean if you think about it like you can kind of just walk through that there's a couple rocks here you know like this little guy kind of moves when you kick them but a lot of this actually you don't even need like heavy equipment for you can probably honestly just use like a pickaxe um and a uh like a pry bar i have a pry bar actually i'll show you my pry bar because it's really useful um it's uh super duper useful um because if you have ground that's like relatively smooth if you tear it up with a backhoe it just sucks because it gets all lumpy um so this thing is a klein grizzly uh, yeah, Klein Tools, they make a grizzly bar. I would highly, 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 highly recommend one of these things. Um, it, it won't break. I mean, there's no way you, like a human body can do enough to break it, but you can create a ton of leverage to kind of move some big rocks. Um, there's also, if you get into big rocks, or even little rocks, like I use this guy, just a, uh, um, a pickaxe with a matic back end. I bent that, but that part still works. Um, to kind of dig in and then um, one other tool that I found to be pretty useful um, is a uh, sledgehammer uh, and here's why so yeah so you, we want a big one right or at least you know big enough for you so you know big demo sledgehammer um, razorback most of the tools I have are made in the U.S., or at least not made in China, uh, just to plug that. Um, China literally has re-education camps for ethnic minorities, so um, that's pretty terrible. And I get it that, like, it's hard to not have everything made in China, or anything made in China. Like, my headphones are probably made in China, um, but my shoes are made in Vietnam. The Kubota was made in Japan. Um, all my hand tools are made in the U.S., except for the pickaxe that I showed you, and that's made in Mexico. So you really can, like, you really can avoid a lot of Chinese products, and you probably should do that. Um, you know, it, it's it's just really lazy to be like, oh, well, there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, oh, you know, and then at the same time, um, if you ever think that, like, America should have done more in World War II when that was starting. Sorry for going on a rant here, but, you know, deal with it. Um, you're getting free content. You should listen for a minute. Uh, like, you know, you kind of think back and it's like, you know, when like Hitler was coming to power and, you know, he started putting people in camps and started putting people in ghettos. It's like, what would you have done? You know, you probably think you would have done the right thing. You probably think you would have like been on the right side of history. Well, here you are, you know, China's putting people in um, re-education camps. They're forcibly sterilizing women. And, um, if you're just kind of like, well, fuck it, you know, what, what can I do? I, I want my new TV, son. Then, okay. You know, but, um, you know, maybe don't think so highly of yourself. Um. So do what you can, do what you can. Um, so, so yeah, so here's why. Let me show you that. So back to the regular programming, let me show you uh, why you want that big old sledgehammer. So there's a rock and it's actually right, so I can show you, right there where my 
boot is. Hopefully that kind of shows. So that rock right there, that rock, it probably goes all the way to China, in fact. It's, it's huge, right? And you can spend a whole day dicking around with a rock. So, um, you know, the rocks, you know, if you were laughing and giggling at me, uh, chucking rocks into this thing by hand, right there into the loader, um, there, sorry, there you go, into the loader, that's nothing. I mean, you could load that up in two minutes, right? I mean, everything's right in front of you, get some gloves. Um, all gloves fail, so put some uh, electrical tape on the glove tips once the tips start to burn through. Um, but uh, that's fast, that's super fast. What you don't wanna do though, is you don't wanna be sitting there fighting with a rock that you know, is uh, connected to the inner core of our planet um, because it's just, it takes a lot of time. And then you're gonna have this huge hole and then you're gonna have this huge rock and you're like, dude. And really all you need to do, at least in my case, is I just need to be able to drive over it with, you know, with like a hopefully two wheel drive vehicle, minimum uh, all wheel drive vehicle. And um, you can use the sledgehammer to just basically like break the top off. You know, there's other things you can do to break it. There's like that expanding foam stuff. And if you have like a really cool friend, maybe you can get some dynamite. I'm kind of rad. <laughs> if anybody has dynamite for ex merely for demo purposes, I would totally like to get my hands on that in a legal way. Cause it'd be really rad to blow up some of these rocks and make my life easier. Um, but since that's probably not going to happen, um, yeah, you can use just like a, a sledgehammer to uh, blast them and uh, take the tops off and then make it something that's smooth that you can drive over. So, um, you know, there's other things you could do too, like masonry bits and like, you know, put that expanding stuff in it, or you can use um, like feathers to expand it out. But um, a lot of this stuff, honestly, if you just kind of whack it a few times with a sledgehammer, it'll crack and you can uh, get that rock low enough that it just becomes part of the road. And then, um, yeah, there you are. No, no real need to deal with it. And uh, maybe, maybe later if the road kind of the rest of the soil compacts down because you keep driving over it. We have to go back out there again and break it, but you know, it's, it, it's, it's a lot faster than fighting with it for a half a day. And you know, and when you really should be making 50, you know, 50 feet, if you're lucky, 10 feet, if you're slugging it out through tough terrain. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, how I make a road. And, um, uh, it definitely, here's some things that would make it go faster. If anyone's still paying attention to this and listening is, um, if you had, if you had two things, so what's cool, if you had a, uh, if you had an excavator and a uh, skid steer, Basically, if you had an excavator that could dump into a bucket, that would be great. So the problem I've got is that, you know, my backhoe, hold on, where is it? There it is. So my backhoe right there, that thing. So that digs, but it's on the other side of the loader. So if I get a big rock over there, then I got to spin the whole thing around and then I got to get it in the loader. And that takes a lot of time. So if you had two of these, then you could basically pick something up and you could just boop, drop it right in the bucket of, um, of a skid steer or a tractor or just a loader and then uh take it away that would be really fast also if you had a dump trailer dump trailer could, might work too but if you're just out here with one machine you just you just need a lot, a lot of people who work with these things like a tractor mounted backhoe um, what they'll tell you is is that what you need to do this job is you need patience you need a lot of patience so um yeah so anyway it's been 13 minutes this it seems exceedingly long for this video and uh that's it so yeah good luck no, there's nothing i don't you know like you don't need to like or subscribe to me um i just hope that for the next dumb son of a gun like that myself is out here in the middle of nowhere trying to build um, a road with a tractor you're going to be like oh crap maybe that'll save me some time so um, hopefully that's the case hopefully the wind's not too bad and um you're not all you know nauseous from all the shaking of the video all right guys take care Bye. -bye.